Good evening and welcome everyone to Michigan International Speedway for round 24 of the schedule. For the Sony Pull Award, it goes to Jeff James for, I think, the fourth time this season. Jeff James leads the drivers in the pole um, category. He's won the most poles of any driver this season. And by the time he really needs to do it is this race weekend, well, all the way down the home stretch. if you want to start making some speed, Jeff James is about a race behind DJ Curtis after some mishap at Watkins Glen. Him, Bassinger, Turner, a bunch of championship contenders all found problems while DJ Curtis found success, getting another top five finish on another road course. So Curtis extended his point lead back to a whole race over Jeff James, Dom Caps, Jake Bassinger, Jesse Turner, as the rest of the field of Jeffrey Lynn, Eugene Max, James Silverfox, Cody Lamas, all of them trying to put their name in the title mix as well. Jeff James kind of got in someone else's mess, got taken out by Andreas Allen when Allen was already damaged. Allen will have to start at the rear of the field after a grid penalty after his instance over at Watkins Glen was found to be reckless. Allen will have to start at the rear of the field. But looking all through this field, you got guys, all of the championship contenders really are up here. Steven Jenkins has been really good in qualifying this season. He starts third. But realistically, we got all title contenders up here inside the top 10. It's going to be a fun race. Michigan is a high-speed racetrack. You'll see guys possibly get up to 220 miles an hour heading to turn one. But they go at insane speeds. This track is very, very fast. And grip and speeds alike. Whoever can hold the throttle down the best and turn throughout the corners the best, the driver that's going to really succeed. So let's get down to the start of the race as the championship battle heats up. As we get set and ready to take the green. Title contenders all throughout the top 10. They're getting set and ready. I mean, the title contenders are really rising here. James and Bassinger determined to bring fast cars and perform here at Michigan International Speedway with there being a championship on the line. Demax trying to put his name in there. Martin and Silver Fox still trying to put their name in there. This is a big race for these guys. Back at the rear of the field to miss this in the storyline, but Sam and Oskin making his first re re attempt back. He's been trying to make the races, but he's been failing to qualify. His first race back since season one. However, the focus is on the front. Jeff James leads us down, and we're underway in racing at Michigan. On the jump, Stephen Jenkins gets out front. From third place, goes out front and into the lead. For Red Bull Racing, Stephen Jenkins is 30th in the standings and has struggled a whole lot this season. But he's been very, very good in qualifying. Coming to the line, he's going to lead the first lap, leading like a bunch of title contenders here. Jenkins leads the way. But not for long, as Bassinger draws even with the Red Bull Toyota. Bassinger, that's one of his cars there. Bassinger has been pretty proud with Jenkins and his um, qualifying efforts this season. He's been hoping that team would turn it around. That team, his team next year will be re returning into Hero Motorsports and will not be Red Bull Racing. They will not be bringing Jenkins back either. Jenkins in the 83 car having a great run right now. We're going to have to see if he can finish it off. But look at there on the inside, Jacob Hart having a great run here today. I picked him for my green flag pick earlier in the week. And he's showing a, a good bit of muscle here in the side of the top five. Running here with James Silverfox. Dom Caps, Nick Mace is there. But up front, Jenkins is not going to let Bassinger get away so easily as Jenkins goes back to the bottom and is going to try and take the race lead again. This battle has been fun to watch. Steven Jenkins again. Driving it in deep on Bassinger, but Bassinger not lifting off the corner, holding it wide open. Bassinger trying to hold on on the outside. Jenkins recently got hired on by Yamp Motorsports to drive for their race team, driving the one car for next year. And Jenkins trying to prove to his owner right here, Jake Bassinger, that he is worth the silly season bid as Jenkins having a great run. The 88 driver 
Jake apart, trying to get up here and mix it up as well. Dom Caps have to, having to get out of the gas. Keep from running up the hill into Jake apart. But Jenkins out front again, having a great day right now. Battle for the lead. Jacob Hart in turn three drove it in there, and it stuck. And he's going to bring Jake Bassinger along with him. Jacob Hart out front looking to bring the 88 its first win for the first time since 2015 in Indianapolis. Racing door to door with Jake Bassinger now. Bassinger looking to take the lead back again as these leaders have been racing hard for the lead. Jacob Hart clears him and takes the lead. But Bassinger has been one of the best cars of this weekend. Top five in practice all throughout this weekend. And has not got out of the top five at all this race. He's been battling for the lead ever since the green flag flew. Trying to take it away from Jacob Hart. Hart able to hold on on that outside groove as Jacob Hart's teammate, Dejon Weeks, and his other teammate, James Silverfox. Silverfox has struggled at this racetrack in the past. But he's having a solid day. Weeks, the rookie, up in the third position now. I'm telling you, the Yamp Motorsports team has brought a powerful car. As here comes Dejon Weeks around the outside. Is going to make it Yamp Motorsports 1-2 as the rookie moves it into second position. And the rookie is not done right then and there. He wants to go after the lead, get some bonus points. He's trying to take it away from Jacob Hart, but Hart at the line, I think he might have... Nope, it was Dayton Weeks there. Weeks goes out front, looking. Both these drivers have not won yet this season. James Sorafox has won twice. Weeks and Hart would love to get a win. Hart closing out this season in his final season. He would love to get a win before he retires. For Yant Motorsports, Steven Jenkins has made his present back up here in the top three as Jacob Hart creeps on a 38 pedigree Ford, trying to take the lead back. Jake Bassinger hanging back there in fourth. Dom Caps into the fifth position with Nick Mace, James Sorafox, Luke Martin, Jeff James, and Eugene Max. That's your top 10. Jacob Hart, the two-time champion, leads the way right now. But the rookie is gonna go down low. And Dejon Weeks off the corner, pushing up almost into Jacob Hart there. And Weeks gives him some room to run door to door with him in a turn three. But Dejon Weeks having a great run. Jake Park way up the hill is going to open the door for Jenkins to take second. And going to possibly open the door for Bassinger or Mace to try and take over third. Dejon Weeks, Jacob Park having great runs today for Yamp Motorsports. They've been one of the quickest cars here. Steven Jenkins being quick as well. As he's looking to try and take it away on the inside but can't quite get it down there enough weeks hold on for now the passing on this racetrack has been so fun to watch the battle for the lead has been up for grabs for the top 10 drivers everyone fighting for every position steven jenkins goes back out front again but weeks fighting hard on the outside all by himself gonna draw even with him Jacob Hart making a defensive line on Nick Mays to keep the inside groove. Weeks holds the position as Bassinger and Mays try and get something going on the outside line. Here comes Jenkins getting a run on Weeks. That draft, the draft is so fun to see here because you can really make a run on somebody. Jenkins to the inside again. Future teammate to his outside. Jenkins a future driver for Yant Motorsports having a great run right now. Possibly having a chance to win this race for Red Bull Racing and make it back-to-back -back wins for them when Fitzwater won at Watkins Glen. But Weeks wants to get his first ever Sony Cup Series victory as he puts a few car lengths on the field. As the battle for second now has dissipated as Nick Mace has moved his way into second and has his eyes on age on Weeks now and had a whale of a run. Just that draft. Just, it's really a big key here. I just can notice that you can get a big suck up on the car in the front of you and be able to make a pass, but you gotta be able to have a car that can stick throughout the corners because you're going so fast around this racetrack, you gotta have a car that can really get around this racetrack throughout the corners and get up off of it. Nick Mace to the inside, looking to take the lead for the first time today. Weeks opens the bottom up a whole lot for Mace, and Nick Mace goes out front 
and will take the lead away for the first time today. Nick May says driving away from most of this field and has caused the guys to have to run single file to try and run him back down because he has really made a good pace here in the last few laps. He's been the driver that's led for the longest portion of the consecutive laps. Most of the time you see a guy get out front, lead a lap or two or three, and lose the lead to the second place car. But Nick Mays has led this race for the last six laps now, and he is holding the Yamp Motorsports cars off at bay right now. And then you got the Red Bull car of Steven Jenkins, Jake Bassinger, and then you got Matthew Rodriguez that's entered the portion here. He's up here. Dejon Weeks fighting with Nick Mays to try and take the lead, but he just can't get it done. Mays able to hold him off right now. Battle up front for the lead now. Jacob Hart, two-time champion, has led a good bit of this race. It's been a really quick car. The top five are some of the best cars today we've seen. Nick Mays, Jacob Hart, Dejon Weeks, Stephen Jenkins, and Jay Bassinger. Those have been the best cars, no doubt, this race. Them five cars have been some of the best looking race cars on this track I've seen. And they're going to be favorites down the end of this. Dom Caps, Matthew Rodriguez, Jesse Turner, Luke Martin looking for something to get them in the picture. But Jacob Park continuing to dig underneath of Nick Mace. Mace able to really hold these guys off. And on the outside, fighting with Jacob Park right now. Park on the line will lead that lap there. And Kenyon at turn one, how I think Nick Mace might keep the lead here. He's just been so good off turn two. And again, he's able to get to the gas way quicker than everyone. Brings Dejon Weeks with him. Nick Mace is looking really good, but we're going to have pit stops coming up as we're just past halfway. Nick Mace is just on a tear. He is making this pack get to where they have to run single file to keep up with him. Dejon Weeks hard on the gas to keep up with him off the corner. Best corner for Weeks in the last few laps, but I don't think he's able to get him down the straightaway. Nick Mace might have been sandbagging that first little run there. You see how the field is starting to spread out. That's because Nick Mace is driving away from these guys, and the draft is the only reason these guys are able to really keep up with him for now. Dejon Weeks, Jacob Hart, Jake Bassinger, they're able to challenge him ever so often, but Nick Mace has been so much better off the corners. You're going to see right there, Nick Mace able to get on the gas way more faster than everybody. And man, he's got a good handle in race car as the Yamp Motorsports cars try and get by him. Steven Jenkins is going to be the first to kick off green flag pit stops. He's going to be short pitting and hoping that getting some pressure rubber than his competitors will be able to benefit him down the road. Dejon Weeks and Jake Bassinger. Bassinger's teammate, Jesse Turner, James Silverfox, Eric Burton. They're all coming down pit road now. And that's going to start some green flag pit stops. Nick Mace and Jacob Hart now will come down pit road while Matthew Rodriguez and DJ Curtis stays out. I don't think Curtis was banking on Rodriguez staying out there. I think Curtis was just trying to get a bonus point for leading there. Curtis has racked up a bunch of bonus points, but... He did not lead that lap. As the leaders come on out, Dejon Weeks has to get on hard on the break for Bassinger. But this is going to be interesting to see where everybody lines up. Rodriguez and Curtis now have pitted. And the leaders should line up as Bassinger and Weeks. Then it is Silver Fox and Turner. As here comes um, Jenkins. He was the first to pit. Then it's Sven Guy Acosta, Scott Burton, Cavanaugh as we're looking through for Nick Mace. He's taking a while to come out of pit road now. We're going to see where all this shakes out. Here's the leaders coming out. Curtis actually did get a bonus point there because his pit stall was further down than Rodriguez's. And he got a bonus point. That was good for him in the championship. But as the contenders for the win here come out, Nick Mace is going to line up as the leader ahead of Bassinger. But Bassinger is going to drive it low of Nick Mace and try and take the lead away. Dejon Weeks is right with him. Jacob Hart and Matthew Rodriguez is there. Curtis has lined up way ahead of these guys. He's He made a big gain in pit stops. Silver Fox in seventh now. And Jenkins and Kerner right here. The Domcats rounding out the top ten. Eric Burton, Ryan Acosta, Carson Scott, Jeffrey Finguy, Jeff James. All these guys right now 
Title contenders, Dom Caps, Jesse Turner, Jeff James, they're all behind. DJ Curtis, the title contender. But Bassinger getting max points right now as he leads the way. It looks as though it could possibly be a three-car race for the win. Nick Mays down low of Jake Bassinger looking for his 29th career victory. Bassinger looking for his fourth win of the season. As it turns out, Nick Mace goes by Bassinger with Dajon Weeks down low getting an advantage. Going to possibly have an advantage on the inside, but Mace is going to hold them both off and keep the lead. DJ Curtis is running down these leaders. He ran a 34 flat last lap. They ran 34 threes. Can DJ Curtis, the point leader, get up there? Curtis has not been inside the top 10 all race until pit stops happen. He leaps inside the top five and right now is running down the leaders as they ran a 31-1. He ran his best lap of the race, a 33-9. The point leader showing up when that matters the most at the end of the race, trying to make it a four car race for the win. Curtis again, clicking off his best laps of the race, a 33-8-9. And he is now right in the thick of things as he makes it a four car battle as he is easily in this draft and in contention. You got Nick Mace with 28 wins in his career. You got a rookie in this battle. You got two champions of the season 15 and season 13 champions. DJ Curtis clicking off some of the best laps of this race we've seen. Curtis looking low of weeks, looking to try and get low of Bassinger. Trying to click off his fourth win of the season. Bassinger and Curtis have the most wins this season. Nick Mace would love to tie them with three wins this season as he leads the way as they're coming up on a slow Charles Sanford. Hometown hero Jeffrey Finguy, his race is done and the caution flag has flown for this. This changes everything as Jeffrey Finguy blew up and was on the apron. This is gonna shake up everything as this is gonna put everyone back in contention of this win. Oh man, this is gonna shape up things to be really fun to see. 12 laps to go. Who's gonna win it? The green flag has flown. And Nick Mace brings him down. The top five is Mace, Bassinger, Weeks, Curtis, Silver Fox, and Rodriguez as the field scatters for position. Lap cars to the inside. The front two get away from him. And Nick Mace, that was a great restart for him and his chances of this win. Gets a great jump on them. How is he gonna, is he gonna be able to hold off Jake Bassinger? James Silver Fox had a great restart as well as he's using the lap cars on the outside as an advantage for him to take over third position. Chris Dodd getting hit around like a pinball as Jesse Turner and Matthew Rodriguez was there. Curtis is trying to fight his way back to the front after getting held up with a battle for the lead is going on with Jake Bassinger and um, Nick Mays as Truck Togger is in trouble. Is the pace, is the pace core out on the, no, I thought Caution might have been out. But no, the battle for the lead is ongoing right now down the back straightaway. As we're coming around to 10 to go, Nick Mace and Jake Bassinger are side by side for the lead of this race. The rookie Dage on Weeks, sticking hard underneath the lap car, Terrell Sanford. DJ Curtis is back in the fourth spot. Rodriguez in fifth. Jesse Turner trying to get up there to Curtis, the title contender. Jake Bassinger has the advantage as the caution flag is out yet again. We're gonna have to see what it is for. Here it is, just everyone's just so close together. And just, yeah, right there, Zachary Fitzwater and Luke Martin was really close to each other. And into Eric Burton they went, spun him around. Just, there's lap cars in the way. What you gonna do here? Martin on the inside, there's Fitzwater. They just started beating there. And Griffin actually got a piece of the wall. Burton went around. He was actually having a solid day until that run. And he's going to put him at the rear of the field. As we come back to the line, it'll only be six laps to go. The green flag has been shown. The front three are together, but you got a lap car, Charles Sanford. And then, then um, Zayden Davidson's also in the way. Curtis going to have to play role of Sanford being in the way. But Bassinger got a great jump on Nick Mace. Rookie Dajon Weeks is there as well. Curtis trying to get around Charles Sanford. Rodriguez trying to play a get around Zayden Davidson. 
front three are together as they are coming to five to go. Nick May sticking hard underneath them. Jay Bassinger here. You need to try and get in the front because if they are racing hard in the rear of the field and a caution comes out, race is over. Nick Mace at the inside will lead that lap with five to go. Here comes the rookie, Dejon Weeks, looking to get a victory in the Sony Cup Series. He just cannot get down there and pass Nick Mace. DJ Curtis is here. Rodriguez in a shot to win yet again, sitting in the fifth position. As we're coming around, it'll only be four laps to go. Jake Bassinger is trying to keep Weeks back, but Weeks has help from DJ Curtis. Curtis looking low of all of them, trying to go three wide down the straightaway. Nick Mace loves what he's seeing as they race door to door, three wide in a turn one. The point leader trying to take it away, but I don't think he's going to be able to. Just uh, nobody's been able to make passes as low as he is. But Curtis able to hang in with them. But Weeks and Bassinger continue to run side by side. Curtis has to slide back in behind him. Rodriguez is going to go door to door with him. Weeks trying to clear Bassinger and go after Nick Mays. Nick Mays looking good to try and get his 29th career victory. Right now leads with three laps to go. With Dejon Weeks and Jake Bassinger running side by side with two laps to go and Curtis throwing it three wide. It just does not look like it's going to happen, but Bassinger squeezes out of the middle like from nowhere. What a run he had. That run came from nowhere. Man, a lap and a half to go. Jake Bassinger got to get after it if he wants to take it away from Nick Mays. Bassinger has been the only driver to pass Nick Mays in this run when he's been in the lead. Nick Mays going to have to really get after it as the white flag flies one more time around here at Michigan. Who's going to get it? Mace for his 29th win, or will it Bassinger come home with his fourth win of the season? Or will Weeks get it? No, Weeks won't. Bassinger digging hard on Nick Mays. They're side by side off the corner. Bassinger's got a good run. He's been the only driver to be able to pass Mays. Can he get him? Side by side in a three. Mays, Bassinger, Bassinger has the advantage, but we've seen guys get a run on the outside, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Bassinger with a last lap pass. What a comeback for Bassinger. Mays charging back, but it's not enough. Jake Bassinger takes the win from Nick Mays and gets his fourth win of the season. How about that from Jake Bassinger? He had a, such a great run. He just drove it in so hard in turn one when he was three wide with Curtis and Weeks. And what a run he had. He made a comeback on Nick Mace. I didn't think anyone had anything for Nick Mace. But he raced Mace clean and he raced him really hard. And what a great job by the Georgia native of Jake Bassinger to get his fourth win of the season. And now Bassinger is the most winning driver all by himself. Nick Mace was trying to tie Bassinger and Curtis for the most wins this season at three. But Mace drove a great race, but Bassinger was just able to outsmart him and outrace him at the end. And he, Bassinger was the only driver to be able to pass him whenever Mace was out front. And I'm sure Mace thought that was a great battle as well as he drives around with Bassinger. Great run, great race, great finish for Jake Bassinger here at Michigan International Speedway. Let's get you to our finishing results and standings after round 24.